is going to be a sensation down here as he was yeah. as he is in the north. And, and I, so. just, I just want people to follow him. He's a lovely, talented, a decent young man. Not uh, you know not bumptious, but very <coughs> self-confident and he's got great ability. But a gentle, like you're, you're seeming like a very gentleman, and you've yeah. got your baby girl. But in, in the ring, you're like the Tasmanian dust devil. I, I, was, <laughs> I was getting fight to looking at you. Should have been 18, sir. I mean, when you get in there, do you? Do you focus? Just 100% focused and, yeah. you know, to get the job done. And I like to think I'm a nice guy and I'm friendly enough. Well, I'm going to say that now, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice guy. Very nice guy. Once you get in, you're, at the end of the day, you're trying to take the other boy's head off, but you can be friends after it. And That's what's very honest, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did I say Jackal? Is that the, your...? Jackal is the nickname, Carlos the Jackal. And it's just, you know... It's Carlos the Jackal, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, the name being Carl, and my mate in school one day called me Carlos the Jackal and just kind of stuck, but... It's not a bad nickname, it's no, so listen, catchy. It, yeah, it, it's, it'll, it, it'll stay. Small yeah. and angry is what it is. <laughs> Small and angry. Yeah. On, on the caveman diet. Yeah, yeah. How's that working Making for you? Angry. 2 percent body fat. 2 percent body fat and, and feeling strong at the weight. You know, I, I boxed as an amateur at, at featherweight, which was 9 stone. Sometimes yes. I, I've done it wrong. and um, This time I've done it right. I'm 4 pounds later than 9 stone on me at stone sure. 10. And I'm feeling super strong. What's the ultimate uh, aim or a, a dream for you, Carl? What would you love to do? <laughs> At the end of the day, I want to be a world champion. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to be big headed or anything about it, but I believe that's what I want to be. And if I look back at my career and, and I haven't been a world champion, then to me it's going to be a disappointment. But Is he no. going to do it, Barry? Yeah, absolutely. No, no doubt press. about it. And we will do everything together. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Good. I, I don't want to let you go without talking about yeah. the. the Barry McGuigan Boxing Academy yeah. and, um, and the reason you set that up, what, what is what Well, I set, it up, uh, I set up the Barry McGuigan Boxing Academy. We're in Leicester, uh, we're in East Berkshire, yeah. Felton College in Bristol, uh, Stockport, and we've got several other colleges that are interested. We've been over talking to DKIT. Uh, we want that to be our host college, and it's only preliminary talks at this stage, but uh, the idea is to, to roll it out all over the country. And it's to keep kids in education and right. give them boxing training and to train them at the highest level uh, in, in boxing training with top ABA coaches and to let them maximise the potential academically as well. That's Brilliant. the bottom line. So you're, line. you're, you're allowing the two to coexist? The, yes, the, the I think it is. I've always had a bit of a uh, chip on my shoulder that I didn't get the chance to finish education. So yeah. I want kids to have another string to the bow with a chance to have an education as well as a career in boxing. Okay, it makes a lot of sense. Barry, Shane, it's been great to see you. And champ-elect, we'll see you back here with the belts.